Welcome back to Killer J Gaming. And today, today is Siphon Filter Dark Mirror for the PS2 in the PlayStation Portable. And developer, Ben Studio, publisher, Sony Interactive Entertainment. And this story mode is really good. The gameplay, really good stuff. Sound and audio is really good, like I said. Sound and audio is good. The gameplay is really fun. Very fun, very fun uh, for a person game and stealth. Yes, very fun for a person game and stealth. And this is this is Killer J from Action Long Gamers here, returning back with another major video game review. I'm trying to do this review, and it's interesting indeed. And the game itself is fun. The game itself is fun, very fun, very fun indeed. Like yeah, the game is fun, like I said. And yes, Ben Studios, the ones, the same ones that made Days Gone, made Siphon Filter. Hopefully, they bring the series back for PS5. Uh, they should. It'd be good if they brought that back. Honestly, it would be. Uh, it'd be good if they brought back brought back the series. The graphics, like I said, they're pretty good. Sound audio, like I said, very good. Gameplay is pretty fun, you know, very fun uh, third person and stealth game. I know I've been been doing this review, and this game, the version you're seeing gameplay of, is a PlayStation 2 version. That's what I'm trying to say. The va the version you're seeing is PS2 version. So yeah. And the, and what I mean to say is, uh, okay, okay. What I mean to say is the PS2 version is really fun. This game was also on the PlayStation Portable. And by the way, uh, uh, and this might be off topic or whatever. I know Sony's closing the PS3 store, the PSP store, and the, and the PS Vita stores, which is kind of a sad thing to do. Do that because I don't know if you can still play the digital games or not. There, probably you probably still can play the digital games if you have them on your hard drive. But it's a shame that, uh, you know, we can't play yet. That the service is going away, the PlayStation Store is going away. For the PS3 and the PSP uh, and the Vita. Which kind of was kind of a sad uh, tale because I remember back then, back in gaming, I used to buy several games from the PS3 Store. I bought like uh, X Men, Team and T. You know, Team and T, the Reshell. I remember that was a game, and you know, before they had it. They had it on the store a long, long time ago, but that game you can't play anymore. Just like Out of the Shadows, you can't you can't play that one either because it's digital, and they didn't keep it on the store for that long. I don't think because the developers changed hands for Turtles. Those different developers. I remember Konami made the old old Turtles all, all the way up to the the SNES and the Xbox and PS2. Konami really did a good job with the Turtle games there. Remember Turtles in Time? That was a good game. Okay, I know I rambled about Turtles there and talking about PSP and PS3 and. PS Vita, let's get back on the Siphon folder. I know I'm kind of off topic about this one, but like I could say, you could play as Logan, Gabe Logan, and that there, the main protagonist of the Siphon Filter series. Very good, very good character. And as and I remember, this series was back on the PS1. Very fun game. It had very good shooting mechanics for the P PS1. This one here is pretty good too, by the way. Just, just to say that out there, this one, just to say that I, I went there, that one's good. That one's good. Okay, so yes, this is Killer J from Retro. This is Killer J from Retro Mon Gamers here. I want to say thank you for watching. Hope you hope you enjoyed this review. Uh, uh, from my rating, I give this game a nine out of ten, a solid nine out of ten for. I give this game a solid nine out of ten. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video game review. Uh, I'm gonna try to get more of the reviewers involved later on down the line. It's gonna be. Easier. I'll, I'll try to get some of our reviews available there. Try to get some people. Try to get some people available for the projects there. You know, try to get some couple, couple of reviewers there. And, you know, I know and people I know in, per, in in general there, just to help out with the reviews. So, I know originally it was supposed to be W two K Battlegrounds, but I'm probably gonna move W two K Battlegrounds probably later on there. It's still going to be reviewed. It's probably gonna be probably the next one probably after this. It's gonna be Siphon Filter then W two K Battlegrounds. So, yep. Like I said, I gave this game a 9 out of 10. You can see the 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 vision, the red vision. That's pretty cool. You can, you know, pretty cool mechanics there. Very good stuff in this game, by the way. Very good stuff. So, yeah. Like I said, I gave it a, uh, I think I gave it an 8 or a 9. I'll, I'll check back, but it's still a good game there. Still a good game nonetheless. I want to say thank you for watching. hope you enjoyed this video game review. And this might be an interesting one. Thank you for watching once again, people out there and Retro Mon Gear fans and people that enjoy the content, thank you. Appreciate a whole lot. You enjoyed the content for what it is. Good gaming fun. 
I might have some more reviews coming up. Uh, I might have an RG Me podcast again. Try to do one on Rick and Morty to the second season there. Then later on do another podcast, you know, talk about the Mortal Kombat movie when it comes out or whatever. If I get a chance to watch if I get a chance to watch a Mortal Kombat movie, I'll probably do like a podcast and have like have someone talk about the movie with me to and you know, give their opinions on it. Or maybe just another movie in general, it doesn't matter, just anything in general, like a movie like maybe like a comedy movie or a horror movie or an action movie. Anything like that there that's good there. I think that's a good movie. I'll watch it there, or maybe even gaming topics for an RG Mini podcast. Who knows? But you know, what I want to say, what I want to say is thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And this is Killer J from Retro Modern Gamers here. This is Killer J. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching this review. And peace out. That is it for your Siphon Filter review, Dark Mirror for the PS2. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you had a fun time. Hope you enjoyed the game. And that is it for now. So, like I said, I get eight or nine. I remember. Uh, okay, I'm gonna close out of that. Okay. What else do I need to say about Siphon Filter? Go buy it. If you see this game on the PSP, go buy it. They should bring this series back on the PS5. They should. They should re remaster some of the old Siphon Filter games and put them on new hardware. PS5 can do it. Make sure bring this game back on the PS5. Imagine playing this game on the PS5. That would be awesome. They should do stuff like this, bring back the older games and have them playable. I see that they're doing that with cer certain games, or bring back certain older games and bring them back. It's cool that they are, you know, like Stubbs and Zombie came back from the 6th gen, now as a part of the 8th and 9th gen there. And now, what I mean to say is thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed this review for, hope you enjoyed this review for what it was, a very fun game. And yeah, that is it for now, peace out, thank you, thank you for watching, and that is it for now. Peace out. Hope you enjoyed this review. And I want to say thank you for watching out there to viewers out there. Thank you for watching our reviews. I appreciate it. And come up next, more reviews there. I'm more surprised. There's probably some, maybe a channel update in the future. Who knows? But you know, there are going to be some different surprises. So stick around and thank you for watching. Once again, bye. Peace out.